Hey everyone, I'm Cara DeFalco and this week in the Cucina we are doing a chef's profile of Chef Eric Levine of Morris Tap and Grill in Randolph, New Jersey. You guys can't wait to meet this guy. first cookbook I had, um, my dad had given me, and we used to see him on weekends, he gave me my first cookbook, which was a Mickey Mouse cookbook. So he asked me what I wanted to make, and of course I went right to the chocolate mousse, and I remember yes. like, it was yesterday, it was Goofy's chocolate mousse, and back then they had the hand blender that had the two yes. whisks on it, yes. you could pull them off and lick from it, right? Yes. So I'm making this. I still have one of those. Oh, that's cool. Nostalgia. <laughs> uh, and, and I'm making the chocolate mousse mix, and he's like, whatever you do, don't turn it up. So logically, that's the first that's thing you That's why my had to dad do. hated me, because he would tell me not to do it, and I do. So it was Don't one of those. Don't push this button. Exactly. It was one of those sh right up to the ceiling. <laughs> and he kept it on his ceiling, so anytime we'd go there on the weekends, he'd remind me of that. But that was the coolest thing. That was like, oh, look, he got annoyed with me. That's, this is kitchen life. This is awesome. <laughs> like so many of us, Chef Eric's first experiences with food go back to family. Basically, my grandmother raised my brother and I, uh, my older brother and I, and, and she was always cooking. And she always happened to have something for us. You learn about the, the love of people through food. Extended into yeah, their food. Absolutely. But Chef Eric has another life experience that changed how he lives, eats, and cooks. Being five t cancer five times shook me up, obviously. The yeah. last time it almost killed me. And I'm very, very blessed and very lucky to do that. So now I have to do something with that. That little bit of. of opportunity and, and that I have a chance to live again. Yeah. You know, I have a chance that most people never get to experience. I had to make changes in my life because part of part of that whole process is changing what you do. Mm -hmm. um, finding, you know, making sure you take everything, extracting everything that's negative in your diet out. So it changed my approach to food and how we cook. And it shows in his food and menu. After going vegan himself for a while for his own health, Chef Eric now regularly offers vegetarian, vegan, and gluten-free meals to fit anyone's diet and taste. He's also sourcing as many local ingredients as possible, including teaming up with a nearby farm. This all comes a mile and a half from, from the here. Restaurant, yes. So what we did was we partnered with um, Happy Harvest, which is a hydro farm. So. All our greens, the microgreens, we get from there. And it's, like like you said, it's low. I mean, you can't get more local, local. than that yeah. unless we build it on the roof here. Yeah. Yeah. It comes back to having fun with food, mm -hmm. doing things that people are familiar with, so scallops and pork loin and salmon, and being a little creative with it and giving an elevated dining experience because, yes, we're a gastro pub at the end of the day. We are not trying to be fancy and overdone. We just want people to come in and have a great experience. Just like the love he experienced from his grandmother's cooking, Chef Eric is now sharing that experience of love and life through his work every day. Not many people can get up and love their job. You love no. what you do. Yes. And it, comes, it shows. You know, and that is... That's more powerful than money. And listen, at the end of the day, you got to pay the bills. Absolutely. But if you could do what you love, yeah, that's that's the coolest thing. That yeah. Is, that's what that's what life's about. Loving what you do. Chef Eric, thank you so much for hanging out with us, for letting us My come pleasure. and uh, you know hang out with you and disrupt you on, no, on a weekend. No, listen, I'm happy. <laughs> more disruption, the better. <laughs> that's right. You love chaos. I do. I do. I'm an agent. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much, and thank you. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Mwah.